All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the NABP 1040 and how to perform a NABP simulation. Uh, in the background here, we've got our MindRay PM8000. And this monitor comes with the standard blood pressure cuff and the quick connect fitting. With our NABP, we received this T. And so what we're gonna do is disconnect the blood pressure cuff and put this T in series with it. If you have a different adapter with your monitor, we also provide different T adapters for all of the cuffs that are available. So we're gonna take that T and plug it right into the top of our NABP. And the monitor just initiated a, a measurement there. So now we can see the pressure is increasing on the NABP. And as that pressure changes, the NABP simulator will simulate the uh, blood pressure signal so if we look if if we look at the next screen down with the screen down button this shows us what the motor simulation is doing we can go down another screen and look at the pressure measurement um, but so those are the different views that are available on the NABP and we can see now that the measurement from the monitor is 125 over 84 so this particular monitor um, has its own algorithm for measuring uh, blood pressure. So what we have available in the NIBP are adjustments for these measurements. And in this particular case, we know that MindRay 8000s need an offset of minus five for the systolic. I'm gonna cancel this measurement here so we can show what happens when we get this set properly. So these adjustments are available so that um, you can uh, adjust the output for uh, the monitor that you're testing. <clears throat> In this case for mind rays, we know that uh, the offset needs to be minus five and minus 2.5 for the systolic and the diastolic. The same uh, is true for Philips or uh, other monitors. Uh, there's a set of offsets that are used because every monitor manufacturer has their own algorithm and their own method for measuring the non-invasive blood pressure. So we'll let this simulation run. Uh, again, we can look at the what's happening with the uh, displacement of the motor and also the pressure measurement as the test is running. And as the pressure runs down, we should get a reading, and now we've got 120 over 80 on our monitor. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, please join us again for more.